Hello, son. Welcome, Daddy. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you, honey. Um, you, you look a little heavy. Don't mind her, Daddy. No means passes without something entering her mouth. It's a lie, Daddy. I'm watching my weight. Just wait. I see you're watching your weight. Yeah. A little. Come on, Daddy. I'm not that fat. Oh, you're saying it because you've been away for so long. I understand. Yeah. Well, you know, that's true. Uh, but it's for a better tomorrow. Don't bother explaining to her. She's just a girl. She won't understand. Excuse me? Who's talking to her? Well, I'm your big okay. sister. Hope you've not forgotten. Well, okay, okay, okay. Now, enough of the fight, you rivals. Now, where's my wife? Ah. Mommy! Daddy's here. Ah. I love you. Mm. Mm. Well, I missed you. I Potion for just one little girl. Can someone please tell this brat that this big girl here is his elder sister? Mm. Mm. I thank God that he gave us a boy and a girl. <laughs> because if both of them were girls, they would have gone for one man. Mm. I know what that meant. Tell me about it. They might even marry the same day. Uh -huh. I wouldn't mind. She's always my best friend. We can cope. Mm. Are you sure? Because all the best friends I know share with their friends. If you are in any way having your eyes on my meat, I bet you forget it. Okay. Guys, you guys, just, just do it funny. Hmm? Don't even eat in peace. Now you tell me. Who's one of you tops the academic system? I mean, me. Uh -huh. Me. Me. Okay. Me. All right. Now let's wait till the white results are out. Exactly. Okay. And for rewards, whomsoever comes tops and clear all the papers will get three weeks holidays in the US. That's me. Wow. So yeah. That's me here. <laughs> That's me. That's Both me. of you should make up your mind and eat your food. Because or else, I'll go for that form. And you will be surprised that I'll be the one to go for this two weeks holidays. Uh, Mom, you are out. No, oh, mommy. You're too old for that. So eat your food and keep quiet. Mm. Because I'm going to take one and pass it. Mm. <laughs> Choma, it is too painful to know that very soon, our father's name will be wiped out from the surface of this earth. Just because mother couldn't have a son. And she even died in the process. And the painful part is that we lost a sister for the same reason, without achieving anything. Sister, I wish there was something I could do. I mean, wherever mama is now, her face, her cheek will be soaked in tears. Helpless. I, I really wish there was something I could do, but... It's not what you could do, my dear. It's what I can do. Chum, have you forgotten that I was the last person mother spoke to before she gave up? I can remember the sound of her voice when she said her husband's name must not die. Oh, God.
Philippines have been in the country for quite a while now. Why didn't you tell me about it? You must death. Why are you just telling me now? I don't say. I thought you said she 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 went to make us to stay with someone else somewhere. I'm sorry, my prince. I was afraid. I thought it could make you abandon your studies. Oh, abandon my studies, I don't say for sixteen years. Sixteen whole oh, years. You hate this on me. I'm sorry, my prince. Just go, go! What do you say? My prince. How did she die? How do say I said, how did my love die? She died at Shaibeck. <gasps> She got married? Not exactly, my prince. But she was pregnant. Her late mother kept threatening me not to, to stay away from her. Claiming that she was married. Ijama kept denying. She told me she, she would explain everything as soon as she put to bed. But she couldn't make it. She died. <gasps> Disappointment, don't you say? To think that I trusted you. I put my love in your mind, in your eyes. I'm sorry, my prince. I'm sorry. Just go. Just go. Your daddy to get the car ready. You're taking her to the hospital. Mom, will she be all right? She's okay. Okay. Sweetheart, it's okay. It's okay. He's always like this. Okay? You're going to be all right. It's okay. I come. Let me clean you up. traceable to our delayed menstrual cycle. But the good thing now is it has finally started. Yes. So I mean, don't worry, she will be fine. Okay. See, I told you. Uh, thank God. Yes, let's rest. Choma, you needed to have seen the level of blood that came out from Akubua's body. It was so much. Oh, that was 
said is due to the delay in her menstrual cycle. I told you it's her first time, but the doctor assured her that everything is under control, that it's, it's normal. There's nothing abnormal about it. But she'll be, she'll, she'll be discharged later today. I'm just going to get some things in the house. I'll meet them up in the hospital. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, now, bye bye. Sorry, my angel. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, sir. What did I just see you do now? What did you think uh, you saw? Sir, I thought I saw you trying to... I uh... don't think... I don't care what you think you saw. Is there any crime if I adjust my daughter's top? Your daughter? Mm-mm. -mm. My grandmother. Sorry, sir. I just came to check on her. What is wrong with these people? Ogwa, do you mind helping me solve this mathematics? Yes, I do. As you can see, I'm not done sorting mine. Come on, stop being stingy. Just help out the brother in need. Hello. You must learn how to address me as sister. Big sister. What is it with you and seniority? You're just 11 months older than me. 11 months. You're acting like my mom. Oh, you're shouting. You're shouting at me. Go ahead and shout. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Please. Sister Ungwa. Just help me solve this mathematics. Please. Now, will you add sister to that? Sister Ngwa. That's more like it. Come here. Who should me your address me as sister? Now, where's your pen? Oh, it's a body ball like you. It's a body ball. Not like that. I promise you I'll be back before you know it. No, it's not about you coming back before we know it. It's about you telling us the exact day you're coming. Yes. I'll be back in 10 days. 
I promise. Is that Ten a deal? Days. Is that a deal? Of course it's a deal, sweetheart. Don't you trust your mother? You don't even want to, to go up in. But I have to go. Come on, come on. Let's go. I'll be back before you know it. Mommy, you promise? I have. And you promise me to serve your daddy his meal as soon as he gets back home. Promise me? I promise you. Ah, because you are on the promise level now. It's a promise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to miss my flight. Huh? Come back on the time. I will be back. Mommy. Mommy. I told you I'll be back. Why are you behaving as if I'm going to die or something? No, no, no. You can just come back as a promise. I cross my heart. Do you want me to put my hand there? I cross my heart. I'll be back. I don't like the way you look. I will have you everything. Take care of the house. You are not the mother of the house. Make sure you serve them very well. I'll take care of it. I'm not giving much food. No, I won't. You cheat. Ah, I don't know. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Mommy, buy me. Big, 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 big chocolate. You got that food today, Mommy, buy me that, that, that food that I like. I will buy a roflet. You might do, you might do. Yes. I'll carry us to the village. Come back. Please come back. Come back. Come to bed. Ah, I'm sleeping. Okay, and uh, and uh, uh, your mom, where is she? Mom got an urgent call from Dubai, so she had to run. She has to run. Run where? To Dubai. She said you knew about it. Oh, oh yes, yes, she told me about it. And you, did you miss me? Give that to you, Come Ah. Mm. Oh. oh, my treasure. Mm. Mm. Nani, that's it. Mm -hmm. I want to get your food. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, so good, my food.
Jesus Christ. Oh, honey. Daddy. It's only me. Oh, come, come, sir. Daddy? Yes. What are you doing in my room? In your room? This, this is your room. Oh, come, come here. Come here, come here. They leave me alone. I'm your daughter. <gasps> You're my daughter. Are you sure? And I'm here thinking this is my wife. And now you see you're my daughter. Okay. Okay, then my daddy. Come here, just my daddy. Daddy, leave me alone. Are you alright? I just had a bad dream about you. This is the we are trying to rape you. Ah! You did? Yes. Three boys? Yes. Guns? Knives? I had the same dream. That's why I'm here. Were you hot? Well, it, 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 she'll, just, she'll be fine. Let, let, let's go. She'll be fine. She'll just sleep. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. I hope you're all right. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Are you sure you'll be okay? Are, are you fine? No, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Let's go. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Sleep. She'll, 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 she'll be fine. At this time? Is he not supposed to be ready for school? Dad, we are on midterm break. Oh, true. I forgot. Dad. Yes. What was that you did last night? Last night? Dad, what? I don't remember anything. I, I mean, the holding. Torching. Dad, I'm your daughter. Well, well, I'll, I, I touched you. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry about last night. Actually, I was drunk. Daddy, how can you claim you were drunk by the moment you suffered your eyes cleared? Well, I'll just... Good morning, my housemates. Good morning, son. Good morning, Dad. How was it, man? Nice? Hi, Dad. Good morning, man. Oh. So, what is it? I'm fine. Just like I did when I asked God for a wife, not a fellow man. It is your mother that is a man. It is your grandmother that is a man. Your father's mother is a man. Your three sisters, they are men. Every single woman in your family, they are men. All of them. <laughs> if she was a man, she would have able to give back to me and my three elder sisters. Mm -hmm. Isn't she better than you, a nagging man? Who could not even give me a child? The only difference between your mother and myself is that she was lucky enough to have a strong man who deposited an important fool like you into her womb. Mm, That's very fast. Were well, you not there when the doctor certified me okay? Tell yourself some home truth. Mm. Eh? Tell yourself some home truth. Tell yourself some home truth. Hmm. You tell yourself some home truth. I know you paid the doctor. Because that same doctor told me that I can give birth to children. You. Is it me you are fooling? There is nothing here. 
Nothing here is working. Nothing. Nothing. See? It's not even budging. Nothing is working. Nothing. If you were like, we had longer trousers. Nothing here is working. Nothing. Yeah. I can see this. Then, why, why are you not yet pregnant? Because my dear drunk husband cannot impregnate me. As I told you earlier, there is nothing here. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go and drink more. There is nothing there. There is nothing. Pay all the doctors. It's not working. It's not working. Drunk. See, see. Hmm. Hmm. There is nothing there. Nothing there is working. I see nothing there is working. As one of the candidates and the loyalist to our late Iwe, your father, I came to tell you one very important secret. Very, very important. You have to have a wife. Mm, it's very important before our next cabinet meeting. Very important. Well, Uncle, you're right. You're right. My, uh, my servant told me. You see, right now, getting married, uh -uh, that's the last thing on my mind. Believe me. You don't have to stand up with my prince. You must protect what belongs to you. The throne belongs to you. I, I know you missed your parents so much, so dearly. And you know, if they were alive today, the same thing I'm telling you now is what they will tell you. It's been long you finish your studies in the white man's land. So you must get married, my prince. Oh, Uncle, you won't understand. Believe me, you won't understand, Uncle. You see, apart from losing my parents, I also lost the only woman that I ever dreamt of marrying. I lost her to the local hands of death. Yeah, please. It's not as easy as you think, Uncle. I understand. You are a man. You are no more ordinary. You are a king. You will take heart. It is well. Don't command me. Go that side. Hey, you stop. Those ones are also flowers. Yeah. 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 Ha! Yeah, what am I saying? Pastor, you children look so malnourished. Oh, Agogoa, I personally asked you to feed this boy. Fred, why are you so skinny? Mom, you know I did, but he, he doesn't like eating. Ah, but everything be about food. Man shall not leave my bread alone. I can see that. The bread is not even showing you. <laughs> But now I'm back. I'm going to leave on my side. Okay, okay. You children should get my bag after this. Welcome, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. No, don't tell me, tell you go and get my handbag. Mommy, he's getting it. No, it's in front of the car. Pass this way, this way, this way. Don't go and argue there. Pass here, is that right? Oh, Mommy. You can get it now. Get my bag? Oh, no, Mommy, okay, I'm coming. Mom, did you get those two plates I asked for? Those big, big ones in my shoes and all that as well. Just allow me to dress the wall, please, Joma. Did I say you not dress? <laughs> uh. 
So my look for someone to kill you. But certainly not me. God will provide you with one. God will help me use you to fulfill my hard desire of lying down dead this morning. I refuse to eat the food of a woman who harasses me every now and then. I refuse to allow you go. We are not going to offer you. Choma. You are not going anywhere. I say leave me. Choma. Hmm? I leave me now. Okay. What do you mean? Choma, say leave me. Rola. Or leave me You're now. You are not going anywhere. Choma, leave me. Okay. Choma, say leave me. Rola, leave, leave me. Leave me. Ah. Choma, leave me. I say leave me. Okay now. Choma, eat the food first. Eat the food first, Roland. Bite, bite your nose. Eat the food. Choma, leave me. I'll write you. Okay, so no, no, bite you. I get your hands off me. I said, get your hands off I me. Are you eating the food or not? Okay, let's go. So you want to eat the food now? Why allow me? Do you want to eat the food? I said, leave me first. Leave me. Choma, say leave me. Roland, you should leave me. Choma, leave me. Roland. You're looking for trouble, please. Okay. You're looking for trouble, please. Okay, yeah, let's go. That's what I see my best. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Are you eating the food now? I said, let's go. Are you slapping me? No, I'm not. Let's go. Are you slapping me? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Say, what are you doing? Say, what are you doing? Let's go now. Come back. Let's go. Trauma. You have to come out here and listen to me. Stop telling me that nonsense. Understand what? Sister, you don't understand. He goes out and comes home drunk every day. Every day, sister. It's a ritual for Roland. A ritual. What am I supposed to do? Be a drum for him? Cook and let him eat? Baby, sit down. Now I have to talk to you. Sit here. You are my kid sister. I know you very well. She, I know what you're capable of. This same young man you are calling devil and drunk right now. Have you forgotten that it's this same young man that you call a drunk and a devil that almost slapped the mother because she called you a barren witch? What else do you want from him? I can understand that the problem both of you are facing right now is the issue of childlessness. She, that is not the reason you should lose your home to another woman. Yes. What do you mean lose my home to another woman, sister? You can lose your home because you insult him. She, you abuse him, you humiliate him. Do you understand that he is a man? You're pushing him so hard. If you push that man the way you are pushing him and he falls into the hands of a loving woman, I don't pray or wish you see that. He should be the one to abuse you because you've not been able to get pregnant. Why is that, sister? Because in this part of the world, my little sister, is a man's world. That's why you have to be careful. I don't want you to think I don't understand how you feel. I do. I don't want you to lose your home.
I'm sorry. I could never hurt you or make you cry or embarrass you. I must say thank you for the truth you told me. I also would have still been treating my husband like, like an animal. I'm really grateful, sister. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear that. And that's why you're smiling so much this morning. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in the other way around, I must congratulate you, my stubborn little sister, for listening to me for once in your life. <laughs> I always listen to you. Hmm? Okay, maybe not always, but sometimes I do. <laughs> but thank you for rejuvenating my marriage. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. You know I told you that I'll always be here for you. And oh, I owe you one. You mm -hmm. owe me? Yes. <clears throat> I can't wait for what you want to bribe me with. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <clears throat> anyway, Chumi, I called you here this morning for us to have a discussion. An important one. And for me to give you good news. Good news. See, Chami, I want us to talk about our family problem, our father's name. And the good news is that I met a nurse that told me that we can get a male child from our clinic with a little sum of a million naira. How? See, this woman said that young girls come to deliver in her clinic. And in the process, they beg her to sell those kids to couples that can afford that amount. Sister, forget that one. She forget it? Why? Because, sister, blood, they say, is thicker than water. Nobody's going to give you their blood in exchange for money and not come back to claim it. No! I've been thinking too. And I... I think I have a solution to the problem. We have a solution. Tell me. Sister, we have to be cautious with blood. Mm -hmm. And we... I mean, you have to understand that we have to do everything we can to ensure that Mama's wishes does not die like that, you know? So I... I know, rather, I, I am certain that Ogugua is our only hope of solving this problem. Ogugua? How will she help in this situation? Everything, sister. She's a girl, a growing woman. All we have to do is... All we have to do, sister, is get a man to impregnate her. Blood of Jesus. If she gives birth to a son, he becomes her father's son. Shoma, are you crazy? Have you gone mad? My own daughter? I think you're sick. Sister. I suggest a thing like that. Don't tell me that. Oh. 
What is it? We want to use your laptop. My laptop? What for? I want to register for our post you and me. When is it coming up? Next week, Monday. Are you sure? Do me a favor. Could you please check my mails for me? It's the longer I checked. Ah, you got no problem. You have my password, right? Yes, I do. Angel. What again, Mommy? Of course, we'll be done by tomorrow. Mommy, you don't need to panic. I won't pass out this time, I promise. I know you won't. Just go. Fred is waiting for you. Just remember to check my mail. I will now. And you guys should sleep early. Thank you, mommy. I'll sleep early too. Good night. My priest, after a series of meetings and deliberations, the Council of Elders has concluded on what to do about the throne of your father. My noble prince, fellow elders, we all are aware that uh, your late father, our Igwe, was a very, very good man to this land. Ah. May his soul rest in peace. In regards to that, it is natural and in our tradition that you being the heir to the throne should take after him. And uh, we have concluded for that in the next 12 months. Is not so? Mm -hmm. um, but on condition, my prince, you must get married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And have a son that will take after you. Um, before you will be crowned. I guess I've saved your mind. My prince and my fellow elders. <clears throat> yes, it's true that uh, it's against our culture to crown a prince that has no son. Let alone an unmarried one. But uh, uh, laws were made for man, man are not made for them. And that is why we have just decided to change the law a little because of the respect we have for our late Igwe. He was a very good man. So for that reason, my prince, we the Council of Elders have concluded to honor you with this truth. Thank you so much, my fathers. I appreciate your support. And I promise that I will do my best to present to you all my wife and my son in the next 12 months. The authority of leadership will be shifted from your immediate family. So says say that our uh, tradition. I'll do my best, Chief. I'm very sorry about what I said the other day about Ogugua. I mean, I shouldn't have. I went too far. I should have been more considerate. And I'm sorry. Julie is okay. On the contrary, I'm not angry. See, I gave it a deep thought. I came to realize that it's a wise thing to do. Yes, we have to save our father's name. 
question is how do we get the man that will do this job for us? Yes, um, okay. Just mix some of the for us, right? Yes, we'll be there. Yeah. Well, who is making some reservations and where are we going? Um, we are going to Obudukato Ranch. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's a lie! Yeah, it's true. I, I, I love that. I hear of that. I, I just hear of it. We're going? Yes. But this time we are not going to hear about it alone. You are going to walk around there and see things for yourself. I love you. I love you. <laughs> My God. But when are we going? When? This weekend. Oh. What, what am I doing? Pack. I need to pack. What is up? <laughs> Would you respect my prayers? It's been 16 years since she died. A week or two allow her soul to rest in peace. No. No. See, I'm sure that wherever my love is right now, she will know no rest until I kneel by her graveside, plant a flower there, and Bid her farewell. <laughs> Fine. Fine if that's the way you want it. But let me tell you one thing, my prince. That compound will be as lonely as graveyard. Since the only two survivors in that family are both girls who are now settled in their husband's houses. I think I know all that, I don't say. Amitina, how you doing? Fine. Fine. Um, can I have a word with you, me? No, she. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
I am Prince Derek. What is your name? My, my name is Ijoma, but my sisters call me Ije. Wow, that, that's a very suitable name for a damsel like you. Do you know that? No, 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 we just we just started talking. Listen, let me help you with this. It's, no. It is going to fall. No, it won't. Thank you. Uh, um, I can see you're a very, very shy person. So I think I'll just let you go. Then my servant will come and pick you up later. How about that? What for? I like you. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, don't you like me? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, just go. My servant will come and pick you up tomorrow. Okay? To mango tree, um, on your way to Ramoji farm, yes, under the mango tree. Why there? Well, uh, because uh, it allows him a quiet time alone. That's why he prefers there. Yeah. Um, okay, let me go and change into something. But you are. Okay, okay. 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 My mother is around, so you have to go. I'll meet you. Listen, this is the first time I'm actually having something to do with a woman. And I am so grateful to my ancestors for making you my first woman. I just want you to know that this is the first time I'm feeling anything for any man. And I'm, I'm grateful to my ancestors for making you my first. Really? You're so beautiful. I love you so much. Thank you, my prince. For what? For making you step down from royalty as to have anything with a low life like me. <sighs> Listen, you don't have to say that, okay? Whatever authority I command, I promise to share with you. I also promise to share my flume with you because I love you so much. That's nice. My friends. And one more thing. What, my friends? I think I deserve to be addressed as something much better than just my prince. Yeah. Something like what? Something like my heart, my love, my hero. You know, something very sweet. I think I know what to call you. And, um, okay, let me tell you something. I think you should call me my love, my life, my heart, my hero. <laughs> I will call you my treasure. Uh, <laughs> You're my jewel, and I love you so much. Come here. <laughs> I'll give it. No, I don't want that one. No, no, just just hold on a bit. Let me just put it in my mouth. <laughs> my love. I've been around for a while now. And I have been expecting to see you. And that is because. Even right this minute that I'm standing at 
your graveside? No. I still don't believe you, God. I just feel that you just come out from nowhere. Just, just come out and then tell me it's all, it's all one big joke. Our main concern should be we making sure that this man does not realize the implication of selling his own blood. Sister, the blood matters. It matters. I don't want some dumb human being impregnating my niece. Then she gives birth to some stupid dumb child who will carry my father's name. No. So are you saying that my get man is not good enough for that? He is not, sister. Your get man is not good enough. If he was a real man, he wouldn't end up an ordinary gay man. Oh, come on, Shoma. Stop playing God. I'm not. I'm not playing God. I'm only begging you. Please give me the opportunity to search for a suitable candidate for this job. Please. You know that you're very stubborn. And I am not ready for this argument right now. I think I will wait to see what you come up with. Thank you so much for the opportunity, sister. Hello. My name is Chioma. I'm Solo. Hi Solo, it's nice to meet you. You too. I'm wondering, going my way? Well, I'm actually, I'm waiting for the car that will take me down the road. Oh, come on. Let me give you a ride. Really? Yeah. Something we need to discuss. Happy. Sure. I'm sure my sister explained it all to you. But I have a problem with your fee. She told me about your money. But one thing she didn't tell you is that you go for HIV test because you'll be sleeping with your client unprotected. Oh, uh, well, I, I don't think I have a problem with going for the test, you know. Oh, uh, but what about my client? I hope she'll be tested too. Um, Solomon, like I told you, the girl in question is still a virgin. She's just 15. She's my niece, her daughter. Now the reason we're doing this is because of her health condition. The doctor said if she isn't this virgin at 15 or 16, she will never be able to give birth again. Oh, I see. Um, in that case, I'm increasing my pay from 300 grand to 500. Got a deal? It's okay. It's settled. Good. Ready, let's go.
Blindfold yourself. What? I said, blindfold yourself. Am I supposed to blindfold myself? For what? Why? You know I'm not a kidnapper. This is how this business will go. You either blindfold yourself and we leave, or you forget about it. You still have time. You can get down from the car. Come down and remove your blindfold. I said, come down. him to meet you up at your office. Oh, I forgot. I'm, I'll see him later. Okay. Anyway, let me make a formal introduction here. This is Mr. Serge, my business partner from Cameroon. Guess what? He came in to supply me goods worth of four million on credit. <laughs> what do you think? Thank you. You're welcome, dear. What do you think is worth celebrating? Yes, of course. Come, Come on, it's worth celebrating. Yes. 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 Sure. <laughs> Thank you. 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 That's your balance. It was nice doing business with you. But your facial expression doesn't say the same. I don't remember my facial expression having anything to do with our business whatsoever. Point noted. Anyways, thanks for keeping to our agreement. Seems you know how badly I treat any form of disappointment. The way you treat your form of disappointment will certainly be minute as to the way I will treat my form of disappointment, mister. And what are you implying? I'm implying, mister, that the minute you step your feet out of my car, I don't know you and you don't know me. Unless, of course, I call you. That 
is even it be. And if I don't, I don't know you, and neither do you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know you two. Smart one, chap. Out of my car. What is happening? Auntie, what is wrong? Say something. It's nothing. She's crying because her people is not feeling fine. What happened? Well, she had um, serious menstrual pain today and she collapsed again. Again? I thought, I thought the doctor said that everything has been taken care of. Yes, yes, the doctor said she was fine. I mean, she is going to be fine. It's just. It's normal. I mean, it's, it's normal feminine problems, you know. But she'll be fine. I called to know how Gugwa is doing. Ah, uh, she woke up strong this morning. She's okay. I hope there's no problem. No, she's okay. She's fine. Okay. But you may. Let me ask you, what if this girl doesn't get pregnant by this single act? Sister, <laughs> she will get pregnant. I'm just asking, what if she doesn't? What do we do? Sister. Okay, if you say so, but, but Chumi, tell me, why did you ask that guy to blindfold his eyes when he entered the car? So that he won't be able to trace us in future. I mean, he was in the house, and yet he doesn't know where you live. Chumi, I know that you're very stubborn, but I don't know where you get all these ideas from. Girl. Okay, no problem. Take care of yourself. Just relax. Okay, good night. Alright. Bye. <laughs> It's been three weeks now and no sign of pregnancy. God, are you sure this silly boy didn't play fast one on us? Because if truly it worked, why hasn't she started throwing up, feeling dizzy and all those? In fact, she has to stop all this rough play. I think I have to do that. I'll go go. Yes, Mom. Meet me in the kitchen. Mom, five minutes. I say stop. Fred! Stop. Take that ball away. Let her meet me in the kitchen. I don't want to wait for you in the kitchen.
Daddy, what are you doing in my room? Oh, I came to let you know that um, I will drop you and your brother off at the test very uh, tomorrow. I Seven say, just stop it. Just stop it, okay? Just stop it. Else I will report you to mom. What rubbish? I just came to let you know that I will hey, drop Daddy, you Daddy, please, 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 just stop it. I just caught you picking at me while I was having my bed. And instead of you accepting your mistakes, your head denying it. Just stop it. What rubbish is that? We're just talking rubbish. I'm telling you, be ready in the morning tomorrow. I'm going to drop you and your brother at the exam venue. Be ready. 7 a.m. Oh, come on, come on, children, let's go. Take care of yourself, okay? And you? Take care. Mama, I have a to keep. Fred, take care of yourself. Sweetheart, not even a kiss? Oh. Sorry, honey, sorry. I have an appointment to keep. I see you later, hmm? Okay. okay. Come on, come on, come on, get in. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, oh. Oh. Hey. What? What is wrong? It's okay, it's okay. What is it? What is that? What did you hit? It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. What did this morning? It's okay. It's okay. You can house. Please, enough of this suspense. What exactly is wrong with her? Well, according to the result of the test we ran, she is six weeks pregnant. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Now that there is unacceptable. Where? Here's the result of the test, sir. Honey, you know that is unacceptable, right? But doctor, what? Is it pregnant? Yes. How? How? When? Stop it! Stop it! Huh? Stop it, Abby! Now, do you know the gravity of disgrace your daughter has brought to my noble family? Did you know? Please. Now, as a matter of fact, if you don't want me to skin you alive, you better open your mouth now and tell me who got you pregnant. I swear to God Almighty, believe me, I'm still a virgin. Huh? Yes, Dad, it's true. She's still a virgin. Oh, no, shut up, young man. Shut up. 
How do you know that? How do you know that? Can you swear your life? She doesn't hide anything from me. Well, she does this time. She does. Because the sister here, she's lying. Unless, of course, if my family doctor for 15 years, I'll suddenly become incompetent. Your sister here is lying. You understand? She is lying. And by God, I'm gonna I'm gonna force the truth out of you. Now, if you don't open your mouth, I'll start talking. Oh, you listen. I'm going in there. If I come back, you better start talking. You tell me who gets pregnant. Okay? Switch that, eh? If you don't tell me who gets pregnant, then I'm gonna scream your life. Now, before I come back out here, you must start talking. Okay? <laughs> You are brave, braver than a man. I thank you for the risk you took just to ensure that your father's lineage does not end. I will forever be grateful to you and Joma for the risk that you took. I go now. <laughs> Please, Daddy, please. I know all go messed up, but you don't have to throw her out. She's still your daughter, please. Well, if she believed that I'm truly her father, now she would tell me who we'll got her pregnant. Daddy, I have never lied to you. I have never done anything with any man before. I swear to God Almighty. I don't know how I got this, this pregnancy. All I ask is for your forgiveness. That's all okay. me. Now that I've brought God's name into this. Well, I have reason to believe that uh, God has hands in that. Honey, hmm? what are you saying? Oh, well, you and I both know that the only one woman has ever gotten pregnant without being with a man. Hmm? And this woman gave birth to Jesus Christ. And we know that Jesus Christ is coming again. So I just believe that God has given us another one to give birth to another Jesus Christ. Oh, sweetheart, that is blasphemy. Huh? My Bible says that you must not use the name of God in vain. Not of me. It's not me. It's your daughter here who is not only God's name in vain. Not me. How? 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 Well, as a matter of fact, I have agreed to forgive her. But on one condition. That she have bust that bastard in her. She have bust what? What if something goes wrong? No, 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 nothing goes wrong. The only thing that is wrong here that I see is the fact that you all want her to give birth to a bastard in my own house. Mm -hmm. Impossible. Not in my own house. Now, you either tell her to abort that thing or I wash my hand for all of this. None of this nonsense. Sweetheart. <laughs> No, no, no. God forbid. A child is a gift from God and can never be a disgrace. You can't even buy a child from the marketplace. Else I would have bought a dozen. Auntie Choma, you're a married woman. 
That's why you see pregnancy as a blessing. I'm still single. It is a very big disgrace for me. Hey, sweetheart, listen. If you say you have never met a man before, then I, I, I believe you. I, I do. Come on, Jimmy. She's not insisting. But you know that she's saying the truth. I'm sorry, sister. I just wanted to hear it from my own mouth. Listen, I must advise you against an abortion. It's too dangerous. I mean, anything can happen. If the equipment are not well sterilized, you could contact the disease. AIDS, anything at all. What if the doctor is not a professional? You might lose your womb. No, no an abortion is out of it. Lots of girls go in to have an abortion, but very few come out. Hey, with or without easy. We will be there for you. Yes. I'll help you. We'll make sure you don't lack anything. Okay? Okokoa, she's right. We'll take good care of you. We'll make sure you lack nothing. I'll personally make sure that you and the baby are safe. Okay? We'll take care of you. Everything will be alright. Mama and mom says I might not survive an abortion. They say it's as stressful as a woman giving birth. Then have the baby. Forget about that threat. I'm sure he has no choice. I'm cool and Ogwa is fine. No. I can't come down. I'm already on my pyjamas. You're just telling it to me now. Alright. I understand. Let me try and know if there's a way I can sneak out. My dad hates parties. Let me try. You are very selfish. Me? How? Honestly, you are selfish. Now, look at this one. Just because I was kind enough to take that bastard as my own child. Now you want me to also accept a bastard from her too into my house. Now that is unfair. Why do you sound like this? Why do you sound as if someone forced you to accept that girl? But someone did. And that someone is you. They say a lie. I know before marrying you, I begged you to accept this girl as your daughter. And you agreed. At least let's train her up to a point where we can sit her down and talk to her. Why are you saying this? That, that time is now. The time is now, no. Any, 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 any girl or any woman that can carry another life in her womb is old enough for anything. The time is now. Honey, I'm disappointed. Yeah. It's because of... I don't blame you. 
I blame death. If not, I lost my sister. Would you, would you be telling me this? Would you be telling me that? So my sister. good until I had your discussion with dad last night. My discussion with your dad? What did you hear? That Ogugo is not uh, my dad's biological daughter. How oh, will you shut up? Fred, make sure that nonsense you have just said doesn't get to Ogugo's ear or any other. Did you hear me? Get to the dining room and your, 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 your breakfast is soon be ready. You come here to tell me about this. Go away for your breakfast! In here now hmm? and sees you this relaxed in my own balcony. Now he or she is liable to think that you are relaxed in your roughly wedded husband's house. Not knowing that you're just, you're just a stupid girl who got pregnant by God knows who while still in your parents' house. First, you refused me. Then, then you brought that bastard in your room to put my name to shame. Hmm? I'm sorry, Daddy. Oh, yes, you're sorry. You better be sorry. Now, would you remove your stupid body from my presence before I beat you down? Oh, where, where, where do you think we are going? To my room. With my drink? Okay. Now, come here. Would you hand over that drink before I begin to beat you down now? Now, hand over. And get out of here. You think I bought my drink with my own money for you? Okay, I'm all ears. You see, madam, in the course of the x-ray, I found out your daughter's pelvis is too narrow and she can't have a normal delivery. So I advise we terminate the pregnancy or she undergo a caesarean section. Doctor, what are you talking about? The fact that my daughter mistakenly got pregnant does not give us the right to sit here and talk about mother is against my belief and I will not do it. Madam, that has nothing to do with your belief. I mean, it's your daughter's safety we're talking about. Okay. Then let me put it to you that her safety is in the hands of God and not yours. Let's leave it at that. You have something else to tell me? You go ahead. Let's go. It's okay, it's okay, sweetheart.
I love. I love. Left to me, I will just remain unmarried and mourn you for the rest of my life. Just as you would have done if the reverse was the case. But due to the pressure, the pressure from both my maternal and paternal relatives, I have to take a wife. But I am so confused. I am so, so confused. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know where to start from. I don't, I don't want any other woman. I don't yearn for any other woman. I don't feel any other woman except you. How do I start? I need your help. I need your blessings. I need you to wish me luck. Please. Please, my love. Would you help me? Would you help me? my friends there is problem and the problem is the way you're going about the condition the others gave you to meet up with before claiming your late father's throne and how have I been going about it my friends you're not taking it seriously six months have passed and you've not found a wife let alone marrying her look what do say I have been trying my best right I've been trying my best but I don't know it's it's just not clicking. It's not been clicking. Simply because all you've been doing in these past six months, my prince, it's going to each other's graveside. Dropping her flowers and keeping her company. If not that, my prince, by now you would have found yourself a beautiful girl. Look, I don't say. I don't say. Fine, listen. About this issue, you don't have to bother yourself anymore. You know why? Because. I just got permission from my jewel. Yes. She says that I can go ahead and take any woman I want as a wife. Did you see Joma? Uh, not physically though, but I felt her presence and I heard her voice. I heard the voice of my love. I heard her laugh and cry out. So, Yeah. 
Are you with Bobby? Fine. And you, how has school been? Hmm? School is fine, it's just that it's not been easy without you being there to help me solve the assignments and the quiz. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll join you as soon as I put to bed. Mom deferred my admission. So, it's good to hear that. I really missed you. Oh, I missed you more, honey. This whole house has been so lonely without you. How do you mean? What about mom? Well, mom has been busy with her boutique business. She goes out very early in the morning, comes back very late at night. That's not an excuse. If she's too busy to attend to you, she has to employ a maid or something. What about dad? Out of town as usual. Besides, you know how he hates the sight of me ever since this ugly incident. God forbid! My nephew or my niece is not an ugly accident. Well, he's a boy. How did you know? Mom and I went for scan. But on the day of the scan, the doctor said something really frightening. But to my greatest surprise, Mom did take it really seriously and that gets me scared. What did he say? And he advised the pregnancy be terminated or evacuated. What was Mom's answer? She chose the first option. Yes. Why would she consent to that? She said God is in control. Now. Let me get this straight. What exactly are you talking about, Fred? I'm talking about your cruelty to my sister. I'm talking about your attitude towards her. Just because she mistakenly got pregnant, it's unfair, Dad. It's unfair. Look, you're babbling. You're babbling. Why don't you just stop babbling? Now, let me tell you, Fred. This here is my house. And I'll run it the way I please. Now, could you please deal with that? It's unfair, Daddy. Even you, Mom. You've not been really nice to her. What did I do? You've not been really nice to her. Business is good. Yeah, you don't have time. You could have employed a maid that would be helping her out. Huh. Employ a maid? Now from whose pocket will this maid be paid? It's unfair, Daddy. It's unfair. Now if you're finished babbling, would you please get out of my room? Now get out of my room. some money for my daily upkeep and also to tell me that she's not happy because I told you that she wasn't taking care of me. Don't mind her. Her conscience is just breaking her. I give them a piece of my mind. But Fred, don't you think you were a bit harsh on her? I mean, she was even shedding tears. Forget her. She's just crying after thinking of all I said to her last night. And she knows that she's not being for you. And don't you know that mom is supposed to be spending a night in your room, knowing that this is your first experience? Anyway, I'm gonna be doing all that for you and my nephew. I'm gonna like cooking for you. Cooking? What do you know about cooking? Oh, you've forgotten. 
Forgetting I'm in school and I'm alone. I do my cooking myself. Oh yeah. That's interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. And as for you being alone, I promise I will spend most of my time with you starting today. Again? Yes. Yeah. Thanks so much. Ah, okay. Hello. Oh, no. no. It's okay. You can go in now. I have some rest. I'll complete no, no. it. Just as well. No, you shouldn't insist. I'll complete it then. Just go inside. Have some rest. I'm serious. If you don't stop them, I will. Because I don't want that useless girl to influence my son. You're the stupid one here. You think I don't know why you develop a sudden hatred for her? Because you shamelessly wanted to lure that poor girl to bed. And she refused. That is why you are crucifying her as if she committed a crime. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. I see Shameless you. thing. Yeah, I assume, assuming I even made a glances at her. Uh -huh. And she refused me, claiming to be a saint. <laughs> Not knowing that she's just this useless girl that goes all over the places. Now I know even runs in their blood. I know. Like mother, like daughter. So useless. useless man. In fact, you are a rag. Mm -hmm. You should be ashamed of yourself. Stupid man. Mm -hmm. How they got to talk about my family. Listen, listen, you are the one here, Uloma, who's supposed to hide your head in shame. And why? Because you know everything about that pregnancy. I huh? do. And so? You do. You do. You, you think I don't know? Ah, see, see, I know. Listen, you can deceive the stupid girl and everybody else, but not me. You think I don't know how you try so hard to get a male child to keep your father's image uh, going on? I know this. You can't deceive me, oh. You can't deceive me. Listen. Well, you are a miserable man. Yes, thank you. I can see frustration written yes. all over you. Uh, yes, How thank dare you. you mention my family name? Thank you. Yes, thank you. You think I have your Yes, thank you. Go and carry her, open her leg. Thank you. Stupid thank silly you. man. Thank you. Others go outside. You thank carry you. a young girl in the house. What is in between? Thank you. Thank address. you. Thank you. Good. Good night. Good night, Sue. And don't turn this side. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please help me. Come, mommy. Oh, Come, mommy. mommy. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Honey, this is my waist. My waist. Sorry, sorry. My waist. Sorry. Mommy. Sorry. Mommy. My waist. Come, mommy. Come, mommy. Come, mommy. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, mommy. What is this? Friend, listen, listen. What is this? Mommy, it's not with me. No. Okay, me. Oh yeah, try. Please, sorry, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'll breathe in for me. Breathe in. Just don't stop talking. I just breathe in. Oh yeah, breathe in. Breathe in. I want to take it to the hospital. Fred, go and take the car. That bag I packed. Take it to the car. Okay. okay I want to take it to the hospital. Go in now. Okay. I come. I come. I come. I come. Let me rub your back. Let me rub your back. Yes. Let me rub your back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm hoping it. I'm hoping it. What is the time, Fred? Are you ready? No, watch. You didn't even come with your watch. Hi. Uh, doctor. Thank God, doctor. 
How is she? I must be frank with you, madam. She is not fine. Huh? How? Is it not labor? She was just in labor now. Yes, she's in labor. Like I told you some few months back, your daughter's reproductive system is too premature to go through the normal way of birth. So I recommend a CS as fast as possible. Hi. Hi. She moved. Oh. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? But, but doctor, can't you do? Is there nothing you can do? You can inject her. You can. There are things you can do. Eh? Just think now. I advised earlier. We had a DNC on her, but he refused. I mean, now, the only remedy is, as I said. Doctor, please. Just do anything you think is possible. Please. Just say that for me. Please. Please, I beg you. Eh? Please do anything to save my daughter and the little boy. Oh, please. Oh, it's all right. Go. Then you need to come with me to my office to sign some very important documents. Just don't do the person you were three is possibly pushing out the babies. Come on, doctor. You, you are making me nervous. What is going on? Is my sister alive? Doctor, you just said she had a son. But you haven't told me anything about my daughter. What is going on here? Yes, madam. She has a son. But she is not alright. Madam, like three hours ago, do you remember when a nurse ran to me to report that your daughter was forcing out the baby? Mm -hmm. Even when no one else was around to help her? Yes. And like I warned some few months ago. She has vivid. of Nigeria. What do I tell my husband? Please, can someone talk to me? What in God's name is... You see, young man, VVS is a, is a medical condition whereby a teenage girl with a premature reproductive system gets pregnant and tries to give birth in a normal way. Then in the process of the pushing and all the stress that comes with the childbirth, damage is done to her vagina, which also affects her bladder. Excuse me, doctor. Is this a very common disease in North? We are teenage girls that were forced into early marriage, got their bladder damaged, and in course of that, lose control of their urine. Of course, young man. That is very intelligent of you. Talking about my sister's life, I'm talking about intelligence. Listen, young man. It's not a hopeless case. Hmm? The disease is curable and also affordable. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and cure my daughter. Money is not a problem. So why are you sitting down here telling me all these theories? Please, doctor. <sighs> do anything possible to save her for me, please. Yes. The disease is curable and also affordable. But, madam, it requires some time. I mean, a lot of time. Because the damage done to both our bladder and our vagina will need to heal before we commence any form of surgery on her. Surgery on her? Do he? Oh God. Then to do something. Do something. Just save her for me. Save her for me, please. Do something. You see? I said it. Did I not? But my stubborn wife will not listen. Now the repercussion is here. And you want me to partake in the suffering? Inhaling urine and some other rubbish? Now, now let me tell you right and now. I don't want that girl and her bastard child anywhere around my house, unless of course you want to experience my anger. Do you understand that? That's wickedness, that. That's wickedness. What? Is there another thing apart from her getting pregnant? Now, why don't you ask your mother that? Ask her that. And by the way, now why in the world do you talk to me like that? Now let me warn you for your own good. Don't you ever talk to me like that because the next time you do that, I will come to you man to man. Now where's my key? Who has the key? Give me my key. Nonsense.
sweetheart. Honey. Sweetheart. Please have a rethink. Please, this girl doesn't even know how the whole pregnancy thing came about. Please, my Can I please have some peace? Huh? I left the room for you. Why don't you just go back in the bedroom? Sweetheart, please, I beg you. If you were in this difficult position that I'm into right now, I would have carried you through. Please, I beg you. Just have a rethink. Are you done? No, no. Are you finished? Because if you are, I have a little advice for you. Go back in there to the bedroom and go to bed so you can sleep early and wake up early and go to that hospital. Make sure that that girl and a little bastard doesn't return to my house here. Because if they do, I will not hesitate to send both of you out to hell. Do you understand that? So I go to bed so you can go to bed. I've been talking to a stone. I got the message. Back up. Yeah, my Jesus. that you and auntie have made except that I can't stay in my maternal home when my paternal home is there. Listen to us. As we speak now, your paternal grandparents are dead and the only surviving relative is your evil uncle who is a native doctor whom your father has already called and informed not to allow you into the compound as you brought disgrace to the family. Please, let us stay with you. Please. I, I mean, I, I would love to have them stay at my place, but my, my work, my work won't allow me to have time to take good care of her and the baby. Do you know I leave the house very early and come back late? Else, I, I, I really would want them to stay with me. It's okay. It's okay. Mm, Chibi baby is my shame. It's my pride and my shame and I will pay it, mommy. It's okay, you know. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. Everything will be alright. We'll take care of it. We're going to the village. It's just temporary, okay? I and Choma will make better arrangements for you.
Merci. As I said, I will always call to make sure that you're fine. I will send the driver every weekend to bring you food stuff and check on you. As soon as I get back to the city, I promise you, I'm going to get you a good apartment where you and the baby will stay once you're strong enough before the surgery. Okay? Okay, mommy. Okay. I promise you that. Take good care of the little boy. Here is 30,000. Hold it. Use it to buy anything you want. Okay? But mommy, I have enough provisions and foodstuffs to last me for a long while. Why all this cash? Or oh, won't you be visiting mommy, me as you no, promised? No, no, don't say that. I will always visit to make sure that you and the baby are alright. I just want to make sure that you are okay. That's why I want you to hold this little money. Okay? I'm so sorry for all the shame I've caused you. I love you too. I should be the one to apologize. I'm sorry for the pain you're going through right now. But everything will be okay. Okay? Take care of yourself and the little baby.
home, Mom. Mom, I don't think I can stay here all alone. There's no light and I'm so scared, Mom. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. See. I'm going to get a med for you. And I'll get a gem set. I promise you this weekend the driver will bring it down for you, okay? Okay, Mom. Please, just manage. I'm so sorry for this. Okay. Take care of you, yourself and the baby, okay? Okay, Mom. I love you. I love you too, Mother. promised you, I have made an arrangement for you to spend the holidays in London. That's nice, man. Thank you very much. Sweetheart, you've made me proud. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, Mom. Yes. You really have made us proud. <laughs> ah, you're very different from that disgrace you, you call it daughter. Watch your tongue, Eze. I will not sit down here and watch you insult my daughter. After you have chased her out of this house, watch your words. Ulo, is it me you are calling by name? No, it's not you I'm calling by name. I'm calling your father's by name. Whose lineage is filled with male breeds? Nonsense. Let me warn you. Let me warn you. Let this be the last time ever in your life that you bring my parents into your stupid discussion or else, or else I will... Or else what? What can you do? You can't do Jack. The worst you could have done is to stop providing for us in this house. But you know you cannot. Or the best thing you can also do is to throw me out of this family. Let me go and stay with my daughter and train my children. Because I am financially buoyant than you. In fact, I am tired of this house. I want to go out and stay with my daughter. Oh, so, so. Dad. Dad. Mom. I want to tell you that I've made an arrangement where I'll be spending my two weeks holidays. What, what, what arrangement? I've chosen to spend my holidays with my sister, Ogogoa. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? No, 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 no. Are you mad? Now, how could you choose to spend your holidays in the village, that stupid village, rather than go to London for your, for your holidays? Dad, like you rightly said, it's my own holiday and I've decided to spend it with my sister, Ogwa. <laughs> That's my son. Good decision. Mm -hmm. All the first one you stay with my daughter. You have the house. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm afraid! <laughs> Good evening, my friends. Um, who are you? Nkechi is bell of my friends. Nkechi is bell, okay. And 
What are you doing in my palace? I'm here to see my prince. You're here to see me? Yes, my prince. Um, She's here to see me. Obvious you invited her, so why? My prince, for you to marry her. For me to marry her? What do, what do you say? Are you nuts? Do you expect me to marry someone like you? My prince, you finally said to me that you hate skinny girls. No, well, I think I said something like that, but certainly not, you know, someone like. Oh. Look, I like my woman portable, you know, like. Be Joma. Oh. Oh. My prince. Now I understand. But my prince, I thought you said you've forgotten about Ijoma. Well, I don't remember saying anything like that. I only said I was going to cut down on my visit to a gravesite so I could concentrate and find a wife. That was all I said. And what do you think you've been doing, my prince? My prince, you told me. You cannot find a wife because you don't know any family to choose from. You don't know the right family. You gave me go-ahead order to pick a good and decent girl for you. I've brought to you 15 different girls. All I get to hear now is that you want a girl like you, Ijoma. A girl that died 16 years ago, giving birth to another man's child. Will you shut up? Shut up! How dare you? How dare you judge the only woman I ever loved and adored? I'm sorry, Mr. Hey! I removed all the servants in this palace of your duties because I wanted my peace of mind, right? And I left you and the security man. You know why? Because I wanted to always be at the gate and you, as my friend, to always advise me not to insult me! Now you go out there, pick up that lady of yours and take her out of my palace. For someone? Um, well, sort of. You stay here? Yeah, I stay here with my baby. Your baby? Well, you. You don't, you don't, you don't look it. Uh, pardon my curiosity, go back. Your, uh, your husband. I'm not married yet. I have a child in my father's house. Oh. Well, sorry about that, though. I, uh, I didn't mean to cry. There's no problem. Okay. So, is this your house? No. 
I come from Amanko village. But I'll have to stay here for a while until the shame washes off. Hmm. I see. Alright, well, I visit this compound often. I come to keep a late friend of mine company. What do you mean by that? Well, this is actually the family compound of the only woman I ever loved. But because of my father's love for academics, I had to travel abroad to study. I stayed away for like 16 years and by the time I got back, I... I heard she was dead. Oh. Save my sympathy. It's alright. I've learned to live with it though. So, uh, your son, is it? Alright, like I said, I come here often and I'm still gonna come here again. I may see you. So if you don't mind, we could be friends. No, we can't be friends. Why? Tell me, why can't we be friends? I'm sick. No. You. You can talk to me. What's wrong? I have BBF. Huh? Well, I'm a medical doctor. You are? Yes, I am. The VVF surgery is quite common and affordable. Why haven't your parents taken you for it? I sustained a severe injury during childbirth. So my family doctor said I would have to let it heal if I could go for a surgery. Oh. Okay. And how old is it? Early two months. Hmm. I see. Well, we own a very big hospital here in the village with the best of staff. So I'll I'll discuss with the medical director and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. That was very kind of you. It's all right. It's okay, you're welcome. Okay, just before I leave, is there anything you may need? You or, or the baby, whatever, cash, stuff? No, no. My mom left me with enough cash and foodstuffs that could last for a long while. Sure? I'm fine. Okay. fine. Okay, fine. I'll be on my way then. Okay. Take care of yourself. Take care of the baby. I will. I will spiral away from home. Just a night. I will spend my two weeks of days. I have missed my nephew and you for so long. <laughs> You're kidding me, you naughty yeah. boy. So how 
school is cool. So you come and let's go inside. School is fine. And um, assignments, projects, and all that, you know. Cool. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Have you been coping? Fine, I'm okay. God is in control, you know. <laughs> Oh, the doctor. He's a new friend of mine I met today. He says he has a hospital where I can have my surgery without payments. Serious? He sounded serious. I think he's serious. He's a kind and generous man. So, what is his name? Name? Oh my god, uh, I forgot to ask him his name and he didn't even take mine. Then it's for you. I think it's for you. You think so? Yes. But that's by the way. It's something I would love to tell you. But you promise me you won't discuss it with mom or any other person. I hope there's no problem. I'm sorry. Dad is not your biological father. Who told you? I found out myself. I heard mom and dad talk about it. been lost in after me. So Mama, this is unfair and you know it. The poor girl deserves to know the truth. I am sorry, my daughter. That is not possible. If she gets to know, your father's lineage would end. And I cannot risk that. Mama, this is unfair. This is inhuman. It is the same thing you did 16 years ago to me. I cannot allow that to happen to my daughter. I should have told the king about my pregnancy. But you did not. So let's live it that way. I'm sorry I cannot. And you, why are you quiet? Why can't you say anything? I don't have anything to say, Gemma. I'm confused. You don't know what to say? You are the architect of the whole madness. You're the brain behind my problems. I'm sorry. You don't know what to say? No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Please, forgive me. I can only forgive you on one condition. That you tell her the truth. I can't. I can't. She won't forgive me. Let Uyama do the talking. Then you leave me with no choice. Than to take that which you took from me. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. 
and a daughter to a daughter. Jesus, how did you know I'm pregnant? How did you know I am pregnant? No, 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 no! Jesus, Jesus is my mother. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is it? Jesus, why are you crying? No, wait, no. Ichama, Ichama, my sister. She tried to kill my unborn child. She tried to kill my unborn child. Oh, just calm down. It's just a dream. No, no, it's not a dream. She promised to kill my unborn child. She, she promised to kill my unborn child. Jesus, Jesus, save my child. She, she said unless I confess. Confess what? To who? Unborn child, if I do not confess everything I know about Ogugwa, the pregnancy, and the paternity of the child. Oh, that's that rubbish. That's complete nonsense. The Ijeoma and No cannot hurt her own. Let her alone her immediate younger sister, whom she loves so much. That was the Ijeoma we knew before she died. Not the Ijeoma I saw in my dream. The Ijeoma I saw in my dream had blood in her eyes when she was threatening me. She said she was going to kill my unborn child. In fact, she was walking towards me to kill me, and I just stood there calmly, saying nothing. Oh, come on, Shimi. That was just a mere dream. Eh, hey, sister, sister, please don't go there. Please don't go there. Ah, ah. Sister, I know if I stay here all day trying to explain to you, you understand? For that reason, I'm going to do what is right, so I don't have to come back here tomorrow to explain to you. So what are you going to do? Sisters, you see me here. I'm wearing my father's clothes. Kneeling and begging Ogugwa for forgiveness and telling her everything I know. Oh, you can't do that. How do you want her to see me after this whole drama? Sister, let her see you the way she wants to see you. Face her the way you face a human being. Ah, my husband and I have been married without a miscarriage. Not to talk about pregnancy, sister. A child means the world to us right now. Shumi, why not leave this journey? Let's go together tomorrow. Sister, my husband is waiting for me outside. I have to go. You told your husband? I had to. And I would advise you to tell yours so he can accompany you to the village tomorrow. Is there any problem? No, there's no problem. Just calm down, honey. We're here now. Auntie, please calm down. You, you've just gotten here and you're getting me so nervous. Let's go inside. No. I'm sorry. I, I've offended you and I've offended your mother. I really need to say this because I don't know what you think of me after this. But I have to tell you. I have to tell you so I can ask your forgiveness, even though I know you may not forgive me. Auntie, you and I know that my mommy loves you so much that she will give an eye just to protect you, her only sister. What it is that you've done to her that she will find so hard to forgive? Auntie, you know I love you so much. I've already forgiven you before you will say anything you want to say. You have to know. 
have to know that Sister Uloma is not your biological mother. It's supposed to be your duty. Yes, but I exchange it with um, cleaning of the house and uh, washing the plate. The next thing now, you will tell me you're even looking after the house. Meanwhile, you're here sleeping like the head of the vig village vigilante group that does not get to sleep in the night. Don't eh? worry, the house is safe and secure. Eh. Yeah. So, have you finished washing the plate? That's what I'm doing. Hi! Why? <laughs> hey! You want Oloma to come here and give you a dirty slap? When she realizes that you've not washed the plate you promised you will wash. It has your mama. Could you go and do it now? That way. Ha! Okay, see. Oh, okay, not It's boiling. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, my Lord. It is not easy for a widow whose husband has left her with no inheritance to be able to take care of three grown up children like you. I give glory to you, Father. I think I should use this opportunity to tell you a little bit about my marriage to your father. You see, your father was an only son. And because of that, his parents got him a wife at a very early stage with the hope that we will be able to have children and fill up the compound. But yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't able to give him a male child. And my mother-in-law made life, oh my God, so unbearable for me. She made life a living hell for me. She said that having female children is as good as having none. And she said that you people will never be of any use to me. I just, I just pray every day that all she said shall not come to pass. God forbid, Mama. My sisters and I are not failures. We are going to make you so proud that she will hide her face in shame, even in her grave. Yes, ma'am.
Angie Mama. Hmm? I'm your elder sister. And I am also your friend. So I want you to feel free to tell me anything. Are you still a virgin? Huh? What kind of a direct question is this from? I'm sorry, but I need to know. I don't understand this habit of throwing up every now and then. Is there something I should know? Nothing. I'm, I don't know where you're driving to. Um, I'm talking about our vows to remain virgins until we are married. I have a very strong feeling that you've broken yours. Ijoma. Ijoma. I ask you one more time. Are you pregnant? <laughs> I don't know, Mama. <laughs> what do you mean we don't know? <laughs> when was the last time you saw your, your menstruation? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Okay, you want me to use this candle on you <laughs> before you tell me if you're pregnant or not? Say, Mama, I'm not even boy. Yes, Mama. Hey! <laughs> Hey! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Chima, I'm sorry. Chima, I'm sorry. Chima, I'm sorry. Chima, I'm sorry. Okay, Sija. Okay, Sija. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey! Chima. I'm sorry. Chima. Hey! Chima. for all the things she passed through in the hands of our late grandmother. So at least you would have done is abide by the rules. No sex before marriage. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I was misled. Uloma. This is not the time for us to begin to apportion blames. Let's think of how best to console Mama and make her happy again. My, my, Dolly, my, my, Dolly, my, a quick and a bell of awful nose, you know. Hi, Dolly, my boy, Dolly, my quick and a bell of awful nose, you know. A quick on him, a quick on him, my, my, Dolly, my, my, Dolly, my. Oh, my God. 
Mama, I just want to cry. Mama, don't cry. Why do you want to cry? I will no longer. Oh, she no longer. I call my child. To lose her, to lose her, to lose her. I'm still sicky. I want to eat my own now. What will the world say if they find out? They will make a ridicule of me. They will say I was loose with my children. That is why E.J. got pregnant. Do you know? Very soon, Adam will begin to show. Hi, Aloha. The back and gaze on you. Where will I hide my shame? I hate my shit. Providing an heir for my late husband? I. God, I don't have anybody else but you. Let your will, Father, let your will be done in this family. Father, I am a mere woman. I don't know what to do. The 
No, 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 please. I bought this thing for you. I want you to sit here and enjoy it. Or else it will take it away from you. But first, get me a cup of water. Oh, no one, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Is it one more? Oh, oh, Mama. So you are pregnant. I warned you. I told you to call. Let me teach you the way on how to do it. Now you've brought shame and disgrace oh to your family. What? And what is the meaning of that nonsense talk? Did any member of my family tell you that my staff's pregnancy is a mistake? Or you chose to not hold your tongue? Everybody knows in this village that is pregnant. Am I lying? Mm -hmm. It's obvious that both of you do not know how to mind your business. Or do you want me to teach you? Look who's talking. Have you forgotten? Your brother is a renowned criminal in this town. Have you forgotten? Your elder sister is 42 and she's still single uh -huh. because your mother is a prostitute. Uh -huh. People in the village are complaining. Kazara too is complaining. Do you want me to remind you of how many men in this village have gone in there? Uh -huh. The ground will open and you will cover your face in shame. See you. You will soon end up like your sister. <laughs> Stop it, please! Stop that! Oh, stop that now! <laughs> There's something I want to tell you before we all go inside. Really? Something like after listening to the pastor preach and advise uh, 
about being transparent and truthful. I've decided to be transparent and truthful now. Oh. I, I want to tell you the father of my baby. Okay. Oh, come, oh, come. Who is he? Oh, and where is he from? Talk now. His, his name is Prince Derek Obina. Stop crying, okay? I didn't say I was going to the white man's land to remain. I'm actually going there to study for a better future for us. <laughs> you said it yourself, Mama. You've been there for a long time. <laughs> Listen, I'll always send you letters. <laughs> no matter how many letters you send to me or messages, it's not going to be the same. What happens to me when I'm lonely and you're not there to make me happy? What happened right, to me? Sweetheart, think about me and my memories will be there to comfort you. It's not the same. But I have to go. Okay? I'm not going to play. I'm going to study. I promise you I'll always get across to you. Okay? I love you. So much. God miss you. I miss you more. Can I kiss you now? <laughs> See if it's going to change anything. I could barely thought of not seeing you one more time before I leave. I thought you left without saying goodbye. Well, baby, you know that's not possible. Listen, I love you so much, and I promise I'll never do anything to hurt you. Okay? I need you to stay strong for me. I promise to always keep in touch. Alright? I love you so much. for me now I need to rush
What do you say? You've known me like forever now. And you should know when I'm really, really serious about something. Odunze, I wasn't kidding when I told you that Ijoma is the reason why I want to see the light of the next day. I need you to help me take care of her. Please, Odunze. You know I'll be gone for a very, very long time. I need you to help me take care of her, please. My prince, yeah. you don't need to worry. Trust me. I promise I will never disappoint you. I will do anything I can to see your relationship with her grow into something I'll be proud to announce to the world. Trust me, my prince. Thank you. Thank you. Let's you go. don't need to. Oh, yeah. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Let's go. I'm in, I'm, I'm in a hurry. Mm -hmm. like that. This is a really fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know me once. The baby dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? This is beautiful. Uh, I know beautiful. now. <laughs> you can say that again, my sister. Mama, what did you buy? Mm -hmm. Mama, but why is that whenever you go shopping for Ijoma's baby, you always buy boys things? <sighs> That's true, Mama. How do you know it's going to be a boy? Hey! <laughs> my instincts, they never fail me. I know that this baby is going to be a baby boy. I claim it by faith. Mama, let uh, it be granted unto you according to your heart desires. Amen! But still, we have to be prayerful. I mean, what if it turns out to be a girl? Hey! Back to Senda. <laughs> that one I don't want. And let me tell you, eh? I, on your head, each and every one of you, I wish your first baby, second baby, third baby shall all be boys in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That's what I'm seeing here. Oh. Mama, hmm? what is what, what's this in between a boy and a girl? Whatever God gives me, I will take. Ah. Whether a girl or a boy. Tell me, oh, Mama, mm. a child is a child. Mm. But Mama wants a boy. Darling Mama! A boy it will be. Hey, Darling Mama! <laughs> well, that is why I talk about you. <laughs> hey! Oh, Mama! <laughs> mm. Hey, Mama, you need trousers. <laughs> Good morning, my son. Who are you and who are you looking for? My, my name is Sadun Zamadi. I'm Prince Derek Man's servant. Prince Sonia? Prince Derek Man. Uh -huh. Who is Prince Derek? The one and only son of the king of our land. Ah! You don't wait. Just hold it there. I don't want to hear. Do you understand what I'm saying? So who are you looking for in my compound? I'm here to see you, John. You are here to see John? Yes, ma'am. In her own father's compound? As a husband or as a female friend? Ma, I'm sorry, ma. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you. It's just that I've been away for some time now. And coming back, I, I, I thought I should check up on her just to give her this, ma. Is you. And what is that? It, it's fruit, ma. It's it, my favorite fruit. You came all the way from the palace just to give Ijoma a bag of rotten fruits. Did Ijoma beg you for fruits? Or you're looking fruits? Let me tell you, for your information, Ijoma is married to a rich young man from the city. She has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with your king. She has nothing. Absolutely nothing to do with your prince. Will you get out of my house before Mbalo Ayaru? You should not believe her forever. I mean, Pama. It's a little fruit, Kanye. Bag of rotten fruits. Okwa ke kendulu nebuo. Okwa ke fondulu nebuo. O nebuo, nebuo, nebuo. 
Mm. AJ. Uh, mm. do, do you know that earlier this morning, when you and your sisters went to the farm, one stupid boy by name Odinze came here looking for you. He says you're his girlfriend. Mama, how can Odunzo say I'm his girlfriend? Oh, so I am lying, eh? But that is what he said. He said you're his girlfriend. I have a feeling that boy is up to something. Something like what, Mama? Maybe what, what he was trying to say is that I'm carrying his best friend's child. Odunze is a servant, not the prince. Maybe you misunderstood it. But we're saying the same thing. Nobody must know who the father of this child is. I don't understand what you're saying. What do you mean by that? See, all, all I'm saying is, please, just give birth to this child in your father's name so that your father's lineage will continue when I am gone. Look at look at your mother. You have to take away the shame from my face. Listen, people will laugh at me. They will say I did not live an ever. Your mother is Odunze just saw me and he ran. This to me sounds like a joke. Because I know how close the both of you are. I don't understand it. I didn't offend him. Or. Why would he be running for me? <sighs> Only God knows though. Because I don't understand this. I don't understand what's going on. I honestly don't understand it. <laughs> or don't they saw me and ran? Okay. I'll go and look for him. I think that's the best thing you should do. And then, <laughs> it's yeah. raining me. I'm ah. sorry. Mama, mm -hmm. I decided to come into the kitchen to talk to you while you're cooking. Mm -hmm. So that then my younger sisters will not hear us when we talk. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. why have you refused Ijoma from going to the palace to let the king and his wife know what their son has done to Ijoma, getting her pregnant? Oloma. Yes. Ibiakwa. Your age, you should know that if I lose this opportunity of getting an heir for your father, I will live to regret it. I mean, if God has given us this opportunity, we cannot let it go. Do you understand what I'm saying? In a nutshell, what are you saying? Okay. 
I know. My stomach is pounding me and my waist is spinning me. I feel my tongue is bitter, like Katie said, um, unwashed bitter leaf. Uh, I feel terrible. All these things for one tiny person inside here. I don't feel like getting heavy. Shut so this your small mouth. Ah. Which one do you know? Don't mind her. Don't worry. Hmm? Very soon. The eggs and pills will stop. I promise you. Okay? Eh. Uh -huh. Chi. Mama. Who Mama and I are going to the farm now to have us the remaining cassava. I want you to stay here and look after your sister. Yeah, Mama. Mba. Mm Mba. She's my other sister now. She should take care of me, not without her. Hey. Mba. Uh-uh. What do you do? Please leave me at home, strange. Look, Odunze, it's not that I don't want to answer your question, but my hands are tied. Your hands are tied? What do you mean your hands are tied? That you left my friend who left you all conditionally for another man. Just after he left the country. <sighs> EJ, tell me. What do, you, what do you think will be the process reaction? If you ever get to hear this ugly news. I'm sure, I'm sure he will kill me and I will never forgive you. Look, I don't expect you to say anything to him. When the time comes, I will be ready to say who the father of my child is. It's like you don't understand. That's not the issue. Even when I don't tell him, he will still find out and you know that. When that time comes, I would know what to do. By then, I would have sorted everything out. It's okay. It's okay. If you say so, but I, I must go now. I must go now before your mother gets back. Because she seriously wants me I should stop coming anywhere near you. Or else she will report me to the village youth. And you know what that no, means. I'm not married to anybody. She only said that to chase you away. You understand, as I said before, I, I believe you, but I must go now before it gets back. I must go now. No problem, I understand. Okay, I can't see you all because I'm waiting. We'll see you again soon. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll see you. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Hey! Ulo, can you see what I'm seeing? See all the ripe cashew fruits. I can actually feel the, the sweetness in my mouth. Yes, Mama, they are ripe. I wonder why the owner has not come to pluck and carry them to the market for sale. Ola, uh, all the fruits you see in the bush does not belong to anybody. In fact, I think I should pluck some and take to each other. You know, pregnant women love fruits. Ah, uh -uh, Mama, you know we can always buy fruits on our way home for each other. <laughs> oh, Lord, you do not understand. The fruit that a mother plucks for her daughter is better than the one that we'll buy in the market. Okay, Mama, just, just be fast. This thing, this thing I'm carrying is very, very easy. It's okay, I will help you get it down. Me, mm -hmm. Just wait for me, eh? Okay. As you're waiting here, I will be singing and you'll be answering me, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smile for me now. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, my God. 
Can you get me water to drink? Okay. That's a bad sign. God, I hope Mama and Luloma are okay. Oh, hey. You, you have to calm down. Okay? They'll soon be here. Okay, well, just come and sit down. Come. Don't tell me to come down. Leave me alone. The lens is wanting to go get yams and they're not back yet and you tell me to calm down. Okay, okay. Just trust in yourself. <laughs> Mama and Uloma are fine. Just relax. Do you know your condition? You're stressing yourself. Let me alone. You just find no they're not back. Why, why, why is Mama not here? <laughs> it's night already. Why is she not it's here? Not it's late now. <laughs> Let me alone. Uloma. Uloma. What happened that has happened? See, Mama was beaten by a poisonous oh. snake. You were beaten by a snake? Yeah. No, Mama. Mama was beaten by a poisonous oh. snake. And on, on, on oh. her way to the healer's place. Oh. She oh. didn't make it. Before we got that, she, she died. Oh. Somebody help us! Someone help us! Choma! She's a little bit destabilized right now as a result of the shock. But we're doing the best we can to bring her back to normalcy. She'll be a fine, don't worry. Doctor, please, sorry, sir. Yeah. Please, can we, can we see her? No, you can't see her right now. She needs all the rest she can get. You can't see her right now, okay? Please. Mm -hmm. Just to see her, be sure she's okay. Please, please do. Okay, please do. But make it snappy. We don't have much time. Yes, all right? God please. bless you, Doctor. No. I'll get my way home. I'll come and check on it. Thank you very much. Adani, my little sister, how are you? <laughs> Your mom. I'm sick. I'm not very happy. I don't if I can. I, I can't. <laughs> no. We all came here for you to have your child. And we will all go back in one piece. 
you're not talking of the baby. You're talking of the baby. She's you have to promise me that you you take care of her if she's your own daughter. You promise me that. Jay, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that, please. You already know it's a girl. She's beautiful. I can see her smiling at me. Uh, no, no. That sounds really sweet, but it's not normal for you to see the face of an unborn child. And her name will be a Gugua. Don't talk to me. I don't talk like that. Just shh. Just relax. Ah. 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 Mama, 
Mama! 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 Baby, please. Ah, please, I'm very tired. Oma, please, you're the one that she knows. Carry her. Me, I can't carry her. Come now, please, let me rest small, please. How can you be tired? She has stopped crying now, so it's time for you to rest. Rest now that she has stopped crying. She's still crying, please. Come and handle this baby. Choma, move on, Sadie. Choma, 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 let me show you the second one and fly me. <laughs> Sing now. <clears throat> I'll remind myself in my mind. I'll remind myself in my mind. Hey, what? What's your comment? Say what? What's your look? Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Ah. Bam, bam. Why me? What do you mean, why you? Because everybody knows she feels safer and calmer in your arms. Yeah, and feels otherwise in your own arms. So to say, my family look and get that baby crying. What do you mean? You need to pay a visit to your family for a few months. See yourself. Go and get the baby for I'm going. Stop fooling around, please. Choma. I don't understand. I mean, why don't you want to marry him? Because no man will allow his wife to come into the house with another man's child. Not even my crazy. How do you mean? I can't possibly leave her alone with you. You're right. But the truth is I... I can't imagine myself being a mother at this age. I can't. What are you talking about? She's our sister's child, remember? Yes, I remember. She's our sister's daughter. I don't like children. I mean, now, now, I, I, I don't like children. What? May God have mercy on your mouth. Amen. Take it easy before you watch your mouth. You see, it's not like I don't want to marry you. I can't leave my niece behind. My late sister specifically begged me to take care of her until she's old enough to have a family of her own and even afterwards. Let me get this straight. Now, are you saying that um, you are turning down my offer just because you want to wait for your two months old niece to grow old enough, get married before you consider me? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I want a man who can understand me, take Ogugua as his own, and show her so much love, even more than me, if need be. I am impressed. Well, honestly, I, I am quite impressed. Hearing you talk like this, that shows me that um, you'll be a good wife. And a very good mother at that. I'm impressed. But Uloma, tell me, 
What makes you sure that I am not that man you are waiting for? No, I, I do not mean it like that. You know, as a very influential and wealthy man, I just feel that you might not want such scandal attached to your name. I mean, getting married to a single mother. Well, I don't think that would be a problem because as far as I'm concerned, Ogugua now has a father. Thank you. I love you very Derek. 
heir apparent to the throne of Amechia. I'm here to see my friend. Prince Derek. I'm Chioma. Ijoma's sister. This is your father. She was pregnant for you 16 years ago. She was pregnant with her before she died. And she told us that you were responsible. travel abroad for medical treatment. So your grandmother, my mother, his wife, decided to go with him. But unfortunately, their plane crashed. That was how they died. That's quite pitiable. I'm so sorry for your loss. It's your loss as well. <laughs> But it's all right. We, we look to a brighter day now. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, the baby. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll go to I'm still waiting, still waiting. I'm still hoping to see you again. To see you again. It's never done. I can't accept that. My fellow elders, please calm down. Please calm down. Sit down. The situation at hand here is very peculiar. And we must treat it as such. There's no need of fighting here. Please, my fellow elders, calm down. Hey, hey no more co boko. The situation is peculiar as you've just spoken. Honestly speaking, it is not out of place for Prince Derek to be crowned our Igwe. Eh? It is not. Despite the fact that he's still single, but he has children. Eh? He has children which makes him responsible. And I believe he is capable of uh, piloting the affairs of our community. No, I, I think you are very, very correct. I support you there. Oh yes, the only thing we can do now is to give the prince a chance of presenting to us his law on or before one year of his coronation. That settles the problem. Hey, no more. Okay, okay. Hey, no more. Okay, okay. Hey, no more. Okay, okay. We come back here. Shut up. Hey, no. I come back here. Shut up. I don't know what is happening with this. I but we shall go ahead with somebody and talk to you. We will go ahead with it. Eh? Thank God that we will place what happened. We have to go ahead with it. Chema. <laughs> 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 Roland, <laughs> to the glory of God, I present to you a new Okogwa, a survivor, my princess. I call her a paradigm of beauty, my jewel of inestimable value, <laughs> my princess. 
my pride. So please join me in welcoming Princess. Are you ready? Are you ready? Thank you. 